What's up guys? Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back in my closet to watch episode 11 of Claymore. Uh, so it's been about a week or so since I watched the last episode so memory's a little foggy but uh, I remember our group, I don't remember all the Claymore's names but uh, our group was getting worked by the, uh, the, the male awakened Yoma and they were getting stabbed, sliced up and everything and then Claire uh, came up walking real smooth towards it, dodging all the attacks and then the, the Claymore leader um, noticed I think that Claire was fighting sort of like Teresa in, in being able to sense like the Yoma aura so she was able to predict the movements and the attacks and um, it, it was like she honed in on that ability just to fight uh, awakened beings because she's obviously trying to uh, take take out Priscilla, the one who took out Teresa. And then uh, the two of them ended up taking out that male awakened pretty easily. And then there was also another Claymore and uh, a handler like off in the mountains somewhere just observing everything. So there's some, some stuff going on there too. But yeah, it was pretty cool to see Teresa uh, uh, get some respect because she was getting talked down upon by those other two claymores. Um, so let's see how they wrap this uh, this little arc up. Uh, let's jump into episode 11 of Claymore, Those Who Rend Asunder, part 3. <laughs> Took him out. Bucking. <laughs> oh dang, Claire, exhausted. This claymore, <laughs> this claymore, holes in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky over here, worrying. Oh. oh, and here these two are. Caught, caught their attention. Yeah, why is that guy? <laughs> oh, oh I thought, I thought the same thing. He was, he was dissatisfied. See that one is probably uh, Claire because she's not she's not really using her Yoma power. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe one of them really did get wrecked. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> One of them took some serious damage. Yeah, put some respect on Claire's name. Oh, back at the church. Because of the young Rocky. Okay, so it looks like they put them all in a group for some reason because they all suppressed that Yoma awakening <laughs> see they all have something in common trollmakers who almost awakened <laughs> It was all set up by the organization. 
Hey man. Oh, she got a history. Miria Denive. I don't know what that girl's name is. She's an old friend. Jeez. This one looking ugly. Priscilla looks cool. These other, these, these other two straight up demons. You can't hesitate. She about to kill those the other claymores. Be careful. It's all looking like some sketchy business going on. <laughs> the emotions. <laughs> Who the frick are you now? Okay, it's looking like the organization be sending sending these claymores out on these missions to like push them to the edge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get revenge. Uh-oh. We're rebelling over here. Oh, this girl be... She a snooper. Ooh. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Things are adding up here. Sending the troublemakers wrong information. Basically trying to get them killed. Oh. Oh, so they're awakened beings, but they're not monsters. They still got their 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 humanity. <laughs> Y'all are halfway there, half awakened. Interesting. Interesting. See, they, they gain new abilities after they suppressed the awakening. Oh, experimenting. She wants answers. Oh my goodness. They're learning. They're learning about their limits. <laughs> Gotta respect it. Holy. She's gonna be good, hopefully.
Experiment success? Yeah. Uh oh, that handler just let it be without knowing the situation. Okay, the, these four are looking like they're about to be a, a squad. Oh, Claire, you can feel it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> she doesn't even know. Doesn't even know the strength of this Claymore. Dude, what the frick? That girl, <laughs> that girl can feel everything. <laughs> everyone, everyone got to stay on their toes here, man. <laughs> they got to stay, stay on the down low, ladies. Stay on the down low. Alright, top five. <laughs> Big gap between them. Between five and six. Oh my. Okay, number four, Ophelia. Oh, goodness. Look like these four are going to have to deal with the top five. Yep. Yep. Y'all gotta keep them, keep them, keep them guard up. Keep your guard up. Well, look like these four making their own little secret team here. They're bound, bound together. Okay, this is our squad. This who is this one? What rank are you? <laughs> oh boy, we're setting up for some some top five fights. <laughs> Rank one to five fights. There she is, Rocky. Oh, she got like she got some new some new resolve in her now. Oh, Rocky going in for the hug. Crazy. Crazy, crazy plot. It thickens. Alright, so we have Helen, Denev, Denevi, Miria, Claire. The four Claymores there uh, who just fought against the male awakened. They were talking about themselves. They each had some stuff in common of being like troublemakers and um, being on the verge of awakening and then suppressing their awakening. So uh, Mirio was thinking uh, the organization put them together, told them some wrong intel um, with the male awakened to try and take them out. 
but luckily uh, they were strong enough to handle the the male awakened and then they were just uh, talking about stuff and then Denevi uh, was actually seriously injured and she wanted to experiment with this awakening stuff to see if she would be able to come back to, to, to being a human. It worked. So Muriel was explaining to them that uh, they, they're all awakened and they have that strength but they just haven't completely turned into the Yoma monster. And then um, Muriel was telling them about the, the gap between uh, the, her, herself, the rank 6, and even the 5th ranked uh, Claymore, and then, yeah, the rest of the top 5. So, she was warning them not to get into any fights with them. Uh, she highlighted Ophelia, because she's just a, a beast, I'm guessing, or someone that doesn't care about uh, uh, her comrades and is just out for blood whenever she can get, get some. And then uh, that handler and that other claymore don't know what rank she was, but she was just observing them the whole time. And yeah, the 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 four the four claymores there uh, looked like they made a pact, a bond uh, to to meet again and just survive so they can meet again. And yeah, it looks like they're gonna be looks like they're gonna be rebelling against the organization or something because Miria is still gonna be snooping around investigating um, so hopefully everyone comes back and they can um, uh, share share whatever they learned <laughs> any new information um, but yeah Claire's back with Rocky looks like we're off to the next uh, adventure um, so yeah can't wait to see what happens next if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next one